With millions of Americans at home online, many are searching for resources to continue what used to be everyday life. Dr. Joshua Cohen is a media psychologist who's seen an increase in telehealth. Dr. Cohen, thanks for joining us on AFN. You are in Los Angeles. What's it like on the ground where you are, and why are so many of us looking toward telehealth? Well, what I've seen so far is there's a lot of people that are suddenly using telehealth, in at least in Los Angeles County. Um, there's a message board that you know, people talk about what, what they can do in this situation, because in California, as you know, we're all pretty much locked down. It's a state of emergency in the federal level, but also here. Uh, they've even called in, I hear that they've called in the National Guard. It's fairly serious now. Um, Telehealth is a way to respond to that threat by staying at home and continuing their services. There's a uh, healthcare providers, uh, you know, a psychologist, a licensed psychologists are still considered uh, essential providers. As a as a media psychologist, I've jumped on the opportunity to help these people get the resources they need and. It, thanks to the federal government, actually, to, to be able to get to move forward and you know get people to to help in the, uh, and, the, the and, privacy laws. And what are some of the too. the resources you're providing, and, and what uh, how how can they help? Well, I uh, teamed up with some of the people in uh, who published on telehealth, um, and what they we've all come up with is a, a, a list of uh, resources, uh, national mental health care resources for pe- for you know the public, which um, it will be is on my website. Um, you can get to all this uh, through film and video based therapy dot com, or your digital storytelling project. This is not for profit. This is just to get resources out right now. Sure, and there are a lot of them out there. There's different. Uh, providers uh, for the healthcare providers, but there's also a lot of resources for the public. And the main thing is that HIPAA has also been loosened up. HIPAA is the privacy laws that they keep that are across the board with medical uh, professionals to keep client information safe. But in the case of doing telehealth, it's a, it can be cumbersome. It can be you know tricky because you're not allowed to usually use Skype or FaceTime. But they've loosened it up so people can do that without getting dinged by the insurance companies because they're they're cooperating and helping people to switch to telehealth so that they can get help in their own home in addition to playing a lot of games, puzzles, and telling stories. You mentioned games, but you also uh, talked about health too. I, I would imagine there's. Uh, resources for mental health there as well. Yeah, there's a lot of resources actually for mental health because people can go out and seek therapy without having to leave their home. And they can do it hopefully in a private room or someplace, but you know, for the most part they can connect with someone who can help get them resources. And there are a lot of them out there. Are there is there anything they can do without speaking to somebody uh, as far as just staying grounded well some of the things that i do because i'm also trained in somatic experiencing i'm in the process of still getting that certification and it is an incredible way of staying grounded for instance you might uh remember if nothing else the word sidam sensation image behavior affect and meaning i can put that on the, the website as well in fact but what that means is, that, let's say you do something simple to ground yourself, like sit in a chair and just be quiet for a moment and look around the room. And then notice in your body, like anything, like the, the paint, the, the lights, anything that affects you that kind of calms you down. And you're going to look for those resources internally so that you can basically ground yourself at any point and just notice the physicality of your situation. So anyone could sit in a chair. Anyone can be in a room, and you know, I don't care if the carpet is awful or <laughs> if you're in a situation. If there's something that can help ground you, or or think of something that can help ground you, remember the side bam. If you don't remember anything else, remember the bam side bam. It's sensation, image, behavior, affect, and then meaning. So we put a lot of emphasis in our culture on meaning. But if you think about it, like we use film for an example or art, when you look at it, try to notice like the sensation of it or the the music, the sensation of it. We listen to it not for the lyrics usually. So 
going into that kind of way of regulating what they call the autonomic nervous system. That's your fight or flight response. It contained that. The, there's a part of your uh, autonomic nervous system called the parasympathetic part. That's like think of like a parachute, parachuting down. That's what we talk about in psychology. It's like to remember that. It's like, ah, <laughs> you have a response by looking at something that calms you down. You can control your breathing and you can also let it work unconsciously. So the, to, to fight that fight or flight response, it's okay to be afraid, but it's also very difficult to be afraid when you're in your body. And that's why you decide them. Dr. Cohen, uh, your, your website, uh, where people can go to get more information? Okay, there's two websites. One is filmandvideobasedtherapy.com. It's easier to find. There's a link there to, to go and, and look at the links for the COVID-19 for the response. And then uh, the other website, if you can find it, it's yourdigitalstorytellingproject.com. Dr. Cohen, thank you for joining us here on America's First News.